every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen, in the goddamn refrigerator. I sure am hungry. What up, everybody? This is the morning dinner. Is that the intro? I don't know. Just make it up. All right. Well, we got T. Ferris, or it, actually Tarek Ferris, a.k.a. T. Ferris, the one and only Bitcoin, the first one. Bitcoin DJ in Vegas. No, I'm just making Wait, wait. Up. You say Bitcoin DJ. So you, you, do you take like crypto as a payment? Like when you <laughs> DJ? I absolutely would take Bitcoin. Oh, but not a lot of people do that out here, huh? Bitcoin is fairly new. Like they won't pay in, in crypto. Yeah. I mean, cash is the most common form of payment amongst, I mean, DJs downtown, I'd say. Yeah. How long have you been into crypto, man? So crypto, I'd say... I first got into crypto, I think it was like 2013. And it was like, I remember the first time I bought Bitcoin, it was like in a bar with like some stranger. And it was, it was a stranger at the time. It was a stranger. It was a stranger at the time, but I got, I got to know him through the Bitcoin meetup in Milwaukee. But yeah, like handed him 90 bucks and he sent me two Bitcoins. So that's the thing. How'd you find whoa, out? Whoa, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Let's re retract there. You said you sent him 90, you gave him 90 bucks yeah. and it gave you two Bitcoins. Yeah, at the time. That's, that's just how you guys can uh, do Yo. some calculations and kind of figure out. Yeah. Well, at the time of the recording right now, just, just so we can kind of also like, like mark the Gauge date it. on this camera. It's at the, 63 on this, right It's now. at 6,200. 6, yeah. yeah. So like over six grand for one Bitcoin, but you paid $90. $90. For two Check your profit. Business yeah. point Dexter motherfuckers out there. That's an increase. I'm hodl gang though, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. gang so all day. Wait, so you so you're never gonna you're not gonna cash out or what? Like, you what's know, your end goal? You or know, you're gonna use it as a currency in the you future? Know, Bitcoin is like it's kind of there's different types of people into it. There's yeah. people that will literally never sell even if it goes to zero, and there's people that see it as replacing the dollar. That it's gonna be like the only form of payment that exists. Um, it could go either way, in my opinion. Um, I really do think it's like it has like a long term term u utility in yeah. like the global economy. Yeah. Um, it can't. It literally cannot die. Yeah. Blockchain itself. It. Yeah. The only way you can kill it is if you kill the internet completely, right? Yeah. E even then, it's like. See, when I got first into Bitcoin, I got really pushed like deep into it right away because I met. Um, the per like the person that I met that really got me super into Bitcoin was the founder of the Milwaukee Bitcoin meetup. And, um, he literally lived on Bitcoin. Mm. He only, he only transacted in Bitcoin. He bought everything with Bitcoin gift cards. Mm. Like he, that's all he, so he that's how he on. purchased food and whatnot. Yeah. Like, wow, that's he, crazy. he really just like, is he, he still on it? Yeah, so bro, he's probably chilling in a house in in, in like the Bahamas right he now. He is a Bitcoin. With yeah, five Lambos. Well, the thing is, like <laughs> at the time, like a lot of people thought he was like crazy for that. You know, no one really thought yeah. of it as being like you know having a huge future. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's a long game. Like it could go either way, but um, it just in the in the cycle that I've been through it, like it 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 has like just stages of you know huge adoption like just like new waves of people get into it for yeah. one reason or another and then it just takes like a year or two for people to really believe in it and understand its true value so the, the this recent pump to like 20 because it went from what well, how, how much was it it was uh five grand or yeah it, 5. It, was, it, it was at like five grand and then it went to 20 grand right so yeah oh, i'd, say, okay, I'd okay. say like last year around around 2017? No, it was, it was, it was yeah, it was last year, but I'm trying to think of the month. It was probably like around... It was November. Yeah, it, it was, was around November. the fall. So it went from... I'd say it was around 4,000 for a few months, and then it jumped up like within the matter of a week to 20,000. Yeah, I remember and, that. And it, it just like exploded to where, you know, anyone that had enough at the time were just like dumping they, it. They could sell and boom. Yeah. And I think that's one of the one of the problems that 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 kind of caused this whole crash. The balloon. Man, everybody. Yeah. I mean, like, what, what, do you think this was the biggest percentage increase in one year that you've seen since you got into it? Percentage increase? Because it was like a two thousand percent increase, man. I mean, because I think Bitcoin started off the year last year. The like, year was like a thousand, I think, in yeah. the beginning of the year. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, I think by percentage, I mean, there's been huge 
you know, booms and busts. But there's also been huge crashes, right? This huge, is not the first time. No, I say the biggest crash was like 2014. I mean, that I've experienced. And that was, you know, at the all time high was like 1200 bucks at that time. And people thought that that was like insane that Bitcoin was over a thousand dollars. Yeah. And within like that time next year, it was like a hundred, 150 bucks. Yeah. Something like that. That's crazy. So like by percentage, that's like, you know, 90, you know, that's crazy. So it's, it's by, you know, by like the mere scale of the, you know, how big it is now, it's not abnormal, you know? Yeah. It's, It's pretty routine i'd say so what do you what, what do you say to people that like kind of say like because i still have family man i still have like friends who see you like see me get into bitcoin and they're like oh no it's yeah, it's a like hype cycle ignorant. it's it's not really gonna happen because the government's gonna do this or they're I gonna did, regulate you know, it, you know you know this, what i tell people is like you know that it, it's definitely like it's it's definitely like an asset class that like nothing ever existed like it. Mm-hmm. Like there, it, it's hard for people to conceptualize like it's too buying com- something and holding it, but it's not even a physical thing. Yeah, it's too complicated to understand. I feel sounds right like now. the dollar bill to me. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> but that's just what everyone's used to. So yeah. it doesn't. It, yeah, it hasn't. It's not not anything different. I mean, Bitcoin now. I mean, ex- explaining it in 2013, I felt was like pretty much impossible for, yeah, for most people there's but no now, way. unless they've already heard of it because people wouldn't have even have the conversation with you they it's not a yeah. conversation they would they would mm-hmm. want to have like, but like think about it now it's like you know our entire economy there i mean something like 70 percent of all the money in circulation isn't even physical isn't even physical it's all just like ones and zeros on and a, i think they're still gonna increase computer. that <laughs> uh, yeah, all good. Maybe take off those shoot. Jesus. <laughs> take off the what? <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? Sorry, y'all. Forgot to turn off the AC. We good, though. Yeah, we were about to have in the beginning. But go but, back and... No, but I think, like, what I tell the people that are just so skeptical, I'm like, first of all, what if you're wrong? What if you're wrong? You know, it could be... It, you are going to... If If you were one of the people that completely blew it off and ignored every person that tried to help you understand it, you know, no one's really gonna help you understand it when it's gonna become almost impossible, you know, super hard to get, or it's super expensive. Yeah, when it's like 100 Gs of fucking yeah. Bitcoin. Do uh, you guys, that I ever mentioned you guys that show, uh, um, what was it, Mr. Robot? Yeah. Oh yeah. That show is, I mean, that's- it's pretty spot on, it's you'd pre- say? I, I, see, I feel like, the you know that is a somewhat realistic representation of like how bitcoin could out of nowhere become like in, insanely high demand once people find out that the dollar bill is useless and people like to yeah. make the excuse that like oh but the dollar is backed by gold and like, no it's not no it's not no. it hasn't been backed in by the gold. beginning of time maybe yes but after a certain point it became yeah no i'll say this like the dollar in the scheme of like the whole world economy is like it's a pretty safe, you know, currency as compared to the rest of the world. But you look at like, uh, I mean, I read this week that Venezuela, one, one cup of coffee is 10 US dollars. That's like what it's inflated to. No, bro. It's, so it's way like, crazier than that. And remember when I told you about the dude with all the cash and he had like just like loads of, of uh, Venezuelan dollars. And it was mm-hmm. like this entire table yeah. full of cash. And he went through securities and stuff, and they were like, oh, this is actually worth, like, 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they're, like it's just, like, so worthless because, the, like, the, the economy is just so manipulated yeah. by the government there. It's, like, it's, it's like very – the you know, when someone gets paid, their the value of their dollars is just going down, like, yeah. every single day. <laughs> so they when they started working it. for that paycheck, it's no longer worth what they were going to get. Yeah, like. so it's, like, somewhere like that, Bitcoin is, like – you know gold to them that, that, that that's one of the that's one of the uh the, the, the things i kind of use is that like how money how the actual u.s dollar like fiat is is a uh, inflationary as yep. it, it will decrease in value over time like mm-hmm. look at what you could get with a dollar in you know 1950 versus what you can get with a dollar now yep. completely different buying power right but you look at you know uh bitcoin what, what could you buy with one bitcoin in, you know in 2009 versus what you can buy with it right now yeah 
You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a, it, it, Bitcoin is a, a deflationary currency. It's only going to go up in value. Like it only has the potential to go higher in value because the the amount is already set. Yep. You know, there's only going to be well, how much was it? Like 21 million. Yep. Bitcoin, never mind. And then after that, that's that's all there is. You know, people say that Bitcoin isn't isn't backed by whatever. I'm like, yeah, it is. Bitcoin is backed by math. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's backed by like algorithms. Protocol, like algorithm, exactly. The way it was described, like to me earlier, was like the entire market cap of Bitcoin right now is like a hundred billion dollars or oh, something like that. It's nothing, bro. It's like if someone's able to crack the code, that's the bounty on the whole blockchain. You know that that could if that's that there's really like a hundred billion dollar incentives to you know crack bitcoin yeah that's and, crazy and, and and the crazy thing is the higher it goes up the more the the bigger it gets the harder it gets to yep. crack it yep so it's like it's crazy yeah that's why it's like now or never yep type shit how, how do you feel about the the conspiracy that the, the cryptocurrency was bitcoin was created by the u.s government i mean would you would you say that they wouldn't already have a hand in it it's also like just it's you got to be optimistic, I guess, and see both sides and be like yes and no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that out of the realm of possibility, to be honest, mm. because you know there's stories that the gar- the U.S. government had a huge role in creating the, the internet. Yeah, you know, they were a part of the military. It was like how they ex- it's how they how they exchange intel with other militaries. Yeah. It's how that's how they invented the internet. Yeah, and I mean, I really don't. I don't see how that would change its real, you know, what it represents because it's still open source and there's so many other real copycats of Bitcoin. And the transparency of it. And the transparency of it, you know, it's Bitcoin like... Bitcoin Cash. You can watch every single transaction. And if anything, it, it takes power away from the government because it's like an alternative to the, you know, central mm-hmm. Federal Reserve banking system. Mm-hmm. So I don't know why they would, you know, put something out that really could end up you know, Harden them. Being the end of them. Yeah. That that, that makes sense. It could um, be another government to do to take down the U.S. government. It, it's just, it's kind could, of I weird. Could, that would be a more realistic conspiracy, I think, if it was like the Chinese government or something. Mm. Like it's a different government to trying take to down, take down take, a specific... I bet yeah. you it was, a, it was somebody in Korea. It was a Korean government. I bet you. <laughs> did you China. See, did you see someone... <laughs> it was uh, someone posted on... It was one of those crypto Facebook groups, and it was yeah. like Satoshi Nakamoto arrested, and it was just like some random Japanese guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, I hate people. It's oh like, yeah, so just a little quick for people who don't know, Bitcoin uh, was created by Satoshi Nakamoto. Nobody knows who that is. They don't know if it's a guy, if it's a girl, if it's a group of people, if it's an AI, if it's an artificial intelligence. <laughs> oh, so here, let me just talk. Uh, talk. I wanted to bring this up real quick. So I found this little this Reddit post from like 2013, right? And it talked about. <laughs> this is the title of the Reddit post. It says, I am a time traveler from the future. Have you heard this one? I think I have. It says, I'm here to beg, for, uh, here to beg you to <coughs> stop what you are doing. And it's a pretty lengthy post, but it's, it basically talks about he's from the year 2025, and he wants people to stop using Bitcoin. He doesn't want it to get to where it's going <laughs> to be getting. And the, 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 the scary thing about this is that he's been pretty spot on with his price predictions for what Bitcoin's going to be. And this was in 2013, when yeah. the price isn't anywhere near what it is right now. Uh, and he's been pretty spot on. So he pre- he predicted that uh, let's see in 2012. Oh no! So he so this was way before 2013 actually. He posted that in 2013 it'd be worth a hundred dollars, uh, and then for every year after that it would be increased by a factor of ten every two years to one thousand dollars in 2015, ten thousand in 2017, and uh, in a hundred thousand yeah. in 2019, and then one million dollars in 2021. Damn. So if you're hodl gang, looking good right you're now. You're looking pretty good. <laughs> well, thank you, future whoever. Yeah. So now, that's so just one of the conspiracies that came out because no, because I mean nobody knows. You can't. You can make up stories all day long. Yeah. You, nobody knows anything. Bitcoin could crash to to a thousand dollars, and and it wouldn't be unheard of because one of the things about cryptocurrencies is that is that like the the, the market is just so volatile. You know, you see yeah. these you see these altcoins go from like point zero sound, zero. What was it? You think it's super volatile? I think I th- yeah, I mean compared to any other asset, like it's 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 the riskiest type of investment. Yeah. Really. The Great Depression happens or something. Yeah, I mean like if 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 
gold or if any stock went from, you know, a, like a thousand dollars to you know thirty dollars, like it would. That company would. It would crash the entire. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it would crash the entire U.S. economy. One one hundred percent. I I agree with that. But with with Bitcoin, it's not. If like the of, Dow like, Jones like yeah. cut in half from like twenty thousand to, like that would. That would go. That would that would be insane. So yeah, I mean that's something you have to, you know, be comfortable with if you that's something like you know you want to yeah. get into this game. So, I mean that's totally. I mean it's not unheard of. Like, that's so the whole AI thing. I, I think you, I think um, a lot of people think that, um, like Ethereum is going to be, and that like, two point oh three point oh blockchain yeah. type technologies. Like every like everything on top of Bitcoin, could be like you know, the rise of like Skynet and like totally automated economies where just like mm. you know the blockchain just Wait, controls do, everything. Wait, do do you follow a project called Deep Brain Chain? Brain, brain Chain. Deep, DBC. Deep Brain Chain. DBC. I, I they're I they're only sure. available to be purchased in the U.S. like through KuCoin. Uh, that's a uh, uh, another exchange from uh, except from Binance, but. Uh, they they are basically an artificial intelligence company, right? They they are the biggest one, right next to Singularity Net, uh, and they so they 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 they're launching their main net uh, in the quarter four of this year, and they're calling it Skynet. Yeah. Here's the scarier thing about it. Of course. I'm, I'm invested into it. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I think they're gonna they're gonna because the thing is they they're 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 essentially uh, renting out storage compute uh, AI computing power. So any company like Apple or Google, if they want to rent, instead of like paying the cost of what they're going to be paying for artificial intelligence computing, they pay 70% less with the brain chain because of the way they run their entire protocol on their own blockchain and how uh, people who hold master nodes can use their own computing power to you know contribute to the entire process of it. I, I like I've been looking into it for for a minute now, and I'm really excited for it. But when I, when I saw them tweet like we've announced our main net will be you know Project Skynet, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's a little ironic, man. I'm trying to ruin the world, it's the Terminators, man. Right? Yeah, Terminators. exactly, man. It's a little scary, like to, but you know, at the end of the day, you I'm, guys yeah, believe I that mean, will happen anytime in the next 20, so, 30 years. <laughs> you, uh, remember when I showed you guys that videos when at the Milwaukee meetup when we interviewed Vitalik? Yeah. The, uh, so that was like. That was like a day after they announced like Ethereum was gonna be, you know, their new project, mm-hmm. and it was like a couple months before their ICO, and um, that was like one of the big things we talked about because because the whole idea of like smart contracts and it's like, you know, different blockchains communicating and you know all 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 these different possibilities on top of just regular just money going one way and another, mm-hmm. it's like. That was kind of like mind blowing at the time. Yeah. It's like now it's like, oh, the blockchain could just like, you know, it could start my car and like warm up my coffee and yeah. do anything I want. But like at the time, it's like, well, you know, this is this could be literally the rise of the machines. Like, you know, what's what's you know, you take this and like you have, you know, an AI m- monitor and like control a lot, of, a lot of the, you know, this movement of funds like. I'd yeah. say this they real quick. They could do things in the real world. Yeah. Is could you explain? Because you probably know best, and you do do. You do too, Keem. Is the fact what is a blockchain and what? So what a, about it? So a blockchain is basically a distributed ledger of every single transaction that exists in a specific mm-hmm. in this you know for Bitcoin or Ethereum or. But anything. Bitcoin was the first to really Bitcoin, take the technology Bi- to that. Yeah, next Bitcoin level. was the was the one that kind of laid the foundation for other coins to use it in a similar way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's, I mean, that's really the whole like economy, of, like what the value of Bitcoin is. Is you're buying a share of like this this whole distributed system that's verified by you know people all over the world. You're you're you're, you're purchasing something that's essentially been verified by the entire network of bitcoin to validate that it's true it's 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 kind of complicated to understand but imagine like there's a certain amount of dollars like imagine if the u.s never printed dollars the extra right dollars every dollar would have a certain amount of, of validity to it so it's like it's 100 percent. you can go to the store and give this to something and they know it's worth that dollar it has and it's going to be worth that dollar at every store you go because everybody shook hands and agrees that that's what it is right mm-hmm. so, so essentially one, yeah like one way to think about it is like 
it's like building building like a wall it's like every transaction is like a brick and then like when two bricks are laid and they're and they're connected it keeps the it that's like once the whole network agrees that that happened that that means that the a next transaction could secure that like could verify that that happened as well mm. and it makes the old transactions even more like more secure yeah so it, that's why you can so like oh that's why like really old transactions will have like you know hundreds of thousands of confirmations millions of confirmations yeah. it means like every other transaction after that verified that that person had that money that the other person had that money these are both you know real addresses and like it it's true and that's like every, like every other transaction after that makes the older ones so stronger. basically there's no secrecy on whatever you you can yeah. go back to the first fucking transaction right yeah. ever and see exactly what it is and go through each one and i think people will still be like well you don't know if every transaction is going through and then you but, literally can yeah but um the uh can't like you could like literally that. see like satoshi 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 nakamoto's wallet like you could see the money sitting there. yeah it's still a million right yeah. or however you could, see, you could see exactly his wallet and you know Mm-hmm. It's it's there's no it's all numbers like you don't know yeah the person it doesn't name or it doesn't have your name on it it's like mm-hmm. if you go went online and you saw like you know everyone's phone number yeah like you don't know who it belongs to you but don't you know, know who it's it there. is but it's I mean like those that's the numbers yeah that's a good way to describe it yeah. yeah so it's like it's it's private it's it's private but it's not anonymous if that makes sense like, yeah well yeah because. It's still like attached to you, but someone has to be able to track that to you somehow. And there's like layers on like how you can make, you know, transactions more private and how you could secure it in other ways. Like if you're, if you keep the same, if you keep the same wallet with mm-hmm. all your money, everyone will be able to see, oh, this address is constantly is, making transactions. I, yes. I think I think it's one of the, one of the things that kind of keeps people away from, from cryptocurrencies is that they're used to like logging on to like wellsfargo.com with their username and password and then they kind of see how much money is sitting on their account and their checking and savings and that's all it is right yep. maybe they have a credit card too and they can check their balance on that but when you go on to check like your cryptocurrency you kind of you 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 log in with your credentials but it's not sitting in an actual like a owned account like unless you have it on an, on an exchange but even then to to send and receive money like the actual yep. currency of it it's a super long address it's like yep. a 30 character you know numerical alphanumerical yep. code it's all these words or qr code you know what i mean and people don't get that that's like the that's like the biggest thing that sketches people out is like yeah. the whole privacy thing people have lost a lot of money like that because yep. they send it to the wrong address and there's no way to get it back yep but that just makes the Bitcoin worth more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So please keep fucking I remember, up. When, I remember in the meetup, like there's this there's this dude that he built this um, wallet builder, and it was on a CD, and you literally just loaded you loaded your computer to boot the CD, and it ran Linux on like whatever computer you're on, and it generated a, a wallet completely offline. Like it was Cold like you, it was like it was like you rolled dice and you just like cr- put all these random numbers in. And based on those random numbers, it give, it it gives you the the you know all the the seed like yeah. all the words, and um, you just make it makes you a private wallet like a cold storage wallet does not touch the internet, and like does like it's literally the most secure way to make a wallet like it does not touch the internet at all. Wow. Damn, but it was like a pain it. in the ass to do. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It was yeah like that's the most, one of the. That's the most like secure way to. Well, save even money. even now with the like the Nano Ledger, bro, like. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not super easy to understand. Like you kind of have, like I've I had a couple issues with it, bro. Yep. Uh, you know where I kind of like set up the the nano ledger and I'm like waiting. I'm like, wait, did I do something wrong? And then like I always send just a little bit, just a little bit of Bitcoin or a little bit of Ethereum because I need to make sure that that's the way it's gonna be done. Because if I send the entire amount oh, and, and it doesn't up. work, yep, bye bye. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, you, yeah, you could lose money. I mean, the money isn't, the thing is like, it's not loss. It's mm-hmm. like, you know, you don't know, like it could be stuck in some, in like confirmation world or yeah, it could like just not confirm. And if it doesn't confirm, it'll go back to where it was. Mm-hmm. Um, but, or it could, yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like Bitcoin doesn't, it doesn't 
get lost. I mean, it's just it's just sitting in some private key. But somewhere. it lost from your pocket. That's yeah, it could have been lost. It'll just go to somebody else's. <laughs> <laughs> they figure yeah. it out. Or- I've received random, uh, and it wasn't an airdrop, and it it was like uh, I think it was Pundi X. Have you heard of, heard of heard of Pundi X? No, what is that? Pundi X is like a it's a it's a point of sale term uh, like it's a POS system for crypto. Basically, let's like it's it's a company that's letting stores like take crypto and it basically like it, it, you can buy crypto or sell crypto and it, it's at a point it's like an atm but like a very small and it's it's been pretty successful but uh, i received like like 200 uh, of those tokens like randomly i have like an, a, a wallet address yeah i just log on one day and i got like I had an extra 10 bucks of, do you think they Bitcoin. gifted it to you or somebody i don't know i checked i checked like i was googling like see if there was an airdrop and Maybe like I a received fork or some, something. yeah, a fork it could have been or something. An yeah, it could have been. You know what? It could have been a fork because they changed from uh, they changed their name actually uh, yeah. to NXPS or N- NPSS so or something. So that it could have been that. You're right, but weird. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Crypto world is like it's the game has like changed it's, so it's ex- much. It's exciting though, man. Like I like honestly, it. Like, it's exciting, it. but it's like like we were saying in the group, it's like. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is better than like just trying to do everything. Cause yeah. it's like, there's so, there's so many, like there's, there's there, like the world is like kind of, it's, it's a r- deep rabbit hole. It's like an insanely deep rabbit hole. It can mess some people up. It could. Yeah. It's, it's like, you could really feel like it's a, it's like an, it's, it's an alternate world of, you know, mm-hmm. technology, but that's yeah. not that's- when really like, you know, it's a, it, like it's it's kind of like sketch out there like you know I, i've heard of people getting scammed i've had friends get scammed i've had you know a lot of friends lose money i've lost money it's like you know sometimes it's just like i want to buy my bitcoin chill i, I think one I thing and then, i think one thing with like market or anything in life you kind of have to like not let your emotions take over because that's when things become very yeah very exactly deep. you gotta especially the market the market is constantly especially, gonna do its especially thing especially greed like yeah. greed is like, like the greed is a bitch because it's like <laughs> yeah FOMO and like FUD like that those are real things because that like, is real really quick can, can you explain some of these terminologies like, yeah what's terms FOMO for people who don't who don't know much about crypto other than then it's been mentioned on CNN so yeah I mean <laughs> off the let, top let, what are let some me, terms let me like let me let me explain it in a way that you're you're not going to expect but it's it'll make sense <laughs> so <laughs> when Bitcoin was like like right before we started recording, remember how we were saying like, oh, you know, have you people just hit you up? You, you yo, you still in the Bitcoin? You know, yeah, you, yeah. you want to like refresh me on that? You know, because you know when you talk about it, when it's not like you know the sexy thing, like the headline every day is like no one really. It, it's it kind of goes over most people's heads, but when people start seeing the returns and people start seeing the gains, it, it becomes you know they start. Rem- remembering the you know the little things that they might have heard and want to know basically how to get into it when bitcoin was like you know approaching like twenty thousand all-time high it's like i was getting like literally like three four messages a day from people i haven't talked to in like years mm-hmm. that are just like hey you know like where i could get started <laughs> yeah. yeah and i you know i'm 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 super like you know helpful about crypto. Like I you get believe in because it. I because I get it's like complicated. I get it's like it's not super easy to yeah. figure out. So you know I'll, I'll walk people through it and stuff. And then I had <laughs> I had a family member call me up that I remember talking to uh, Bitcoin about years ago, like literally like in 2014. And um, you know he, he was interested in stuff and but you know didn't buy any, stay on the sidelines. And he called me up and he starts, you know, talking about, you know, how he's like been watching it and he's like really wants to get back into it and stuff. But he doesn't ask about Bitcoin. He asks about Ripple. Ooh. Doesn't ask about Bitcoin. He's like, yeah, you know, Bitcoin's doing dope. You know, it's twenty thousand dollars. I saw it's a thousand dollars earlier in the year. But Ripple, <laughs> Ripple was like half a cent, and now it's like a dollar fifty. Yeah. You know. It's yeah. So a homie of mine, like he's telling me, a homie of mine bought like ten thousand Ripple when there was like half a cent, and now he's just like, you know, he's got ten grand. You know. Yeah. What can I do to get in on something like that? I could buy ten grand of that. You know, they're each dollar, and what if it becomes like a thousand dollars? You know, yeah. he starts thinking like that. That's FOMO. That's FOMO. Fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. So basically, he had the idea that. Um, something big was he he something big was coming that he was afraid like he was willing to risk 
you know, a lot of money to mm -hmm. not, you know, to, to, to be a part of. Yeah. And uh, he he didn't really care about Bitcoin. He didn't understand the it, technology behind it. He didn't understand what he was the technology yeah. about it because you know, hype. yeah, like Ripple is like a pretty, uh, you know, I think it's like in the top five market cap of coins. It's not decentralized though, right? It's not decentralized. It's a company. Yeah. It's a company that has their own tokens, pretty yeah. much, and it acts like a a cryptocurrency. You know, yeah. it's it's not a physical thing. You know, it's fine. I, I I'm not against owning ripple like i have a small amount of ripple me too basically just because who knows like it could be like mm -hmm. it's basically just like a, a hedge against anything else well, I, don't, hits, I don't i don't know any buying more bitcoin because like it. it could it could totally you know this like mr robot you know what yeah. did what did ecoin yes the ecoin e it was yeah. like a company was like i want to make the official u.s government cryptocurrency right because we want to get rid of cash. We're going to ditch everything. No, because cash basically yeah, went well, out the window. Yeah, like, and they were happened? like, oh, why don't we use our e-coin? That's like what Ripple could be. Mm -hmm. And if something like that happens, it's going to explode in value. And, you know, it, it's it's not going to replace Bitcoin as a mm -hmm. technology. Yeah. But It'll work alongside it. It, will, it, it could work. It could work alongside <coughs> it, yeah. It could work. A lot of people are, are super anti-Ripple, man, because it, it goes against the entire concept of, of decentralized currency, cryptocurrency. Like, it's centralized. It's controlled by somebody. Somebody can, you know, control mm -hmm. it. Uh, I, I, I don't hold any Ripple, but I got some XLM, though. Some See, I heard, I heard that that is pretty much Ripple, but decentralized. Yeah. It's like... That is same company. It's the same company, though. That's all. It's like, oops, we fucked up. <laughs> Let's do a decentralized. Well, it, it, it's it's on a decentralized platform, but it's but all, it it's kind of yeah. Nah. Yeah, I heard that could that could be a that's a good hold. I I, I don't hold I, like a lot of these projects, man. Unless I like I'm super like personally like I oh, this tech is so dope. I personally believe it's gonna change the world. Unless it's like that, I want to invest too much that I can't lose. You know. Yeah. Like like companies like like V Chain. Uh, uh, I I believe in strongly and I mm -hmm. didn't do it just like instantly like I looked them up I saw who they were I saw what partnerships they had what do they have in the works who is their who is in their team like you you got to look at all these things mm -hmm. because when when their their mainnet actually launched today so they so yeah they moved off of the Ethereum ERC20 pro, uh, 20 protocol so now they're running on the on the VeChain Thor protocol they're they're looking to overtake Ethereum bro like yep. they they're building dapps on they it They have a lot of yeah they got a lot of dope partnership yeah and uh they're they're and then so like in the months leading up i was like damn like there's they're doing so much and nobody's talking about it mm -hmm. like why is it like this you know and, and like seeing seeing the price at like you know two three four five dollars i'm like oh, bye is bye the, yeah it's the, you know, like, it's, it's the market right now everything is down oh and the, the cool thing is though is uh i don't know i don't know how i feel about this but like they recently changed their uh so when they switched off of the ERC20 protocol and they went to like their own VeChain Thor protocol, they did a one a one to one hundred token split, which mm -hmm. essentially means like if you bought a token for five bucks, and you own one VeChain token, you now own one or you now own one hundred VeChain tokens, but they're worth point zero five cents. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. And I think it, it's kind of genius, but I'm also don't know how I feel about it because it makes it more liquid. <clears throat> it makes it more liquid, so it, yeah, it makes it so. More people could buy more of them. There's a more, there's a bigger supply too. They'll to make, it. they'll yep. make the market more. And then it just looks more attractive. Turn more. Yeah. It's, it looks more attractive when you're like, oh crap, like look, look at this company. It's like got a hundred million. Like they partner with BMW, bro. Like they've, they've got solid, solid partnerships. Yep. Uh, and and oh, they're they're they're, they're two cents. Oh, okay. I'll just pick yep. up a hundred dollars worth. You know what I mean? Like it. The yeah. No, that's a that's this is thing called unit bias. You know, people always want to have at least one whole thing. Yeah. And right now, for a lot of people, I mean, you know, six six grand is like, you know, it's a lot of money just to cough up on a thing that you know could go to zero. Yeah, that really, do technically doesn't have like, a, I mean, they Vision has a working pro product. They've been doing this thing for a while, so I, but like other companies, they don't even have a, they haven't launched their main net. They don't haven't even had launched a test net. It's a concept of an idea, and I think that's where the problem is with like a lot of these cryptocurrencies is like they, they bring up, it's vaporware. they make a really cool looking website, they talk a good game, like this is what we're gonna do, yep. but they don't have, they they haven't done it yet. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like it's this a, is what we want to do. It's a wild west out there. Mm -hmm. There's no real. And, and it's crazy because I was looking at the at the yeah. cryptocurrencies in like 2013, 14, 15, 16. Like, there's always out of all those 
cryptocurrencies like the, the the list just keeps decreasing like you know like mm -hmm. for example a lot of the token a lot of the coins that you see on 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 uh, what's it called coinbase or coin market cap coin market cap a lot of those coins like they won't be there by next that another year or two. that top 100 shuffles so much yeah yeah so it's like I, you just gotta really like you know pick your winners it's 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 a it's a wild west out there like there's there's so many scam like yeah you gotta look at you know you gotta do your research you can't just like i told you about that uh, i went to a meetup like two weeks ago and everyone's like man this coin right here it's going 30x man it's going yeah. it's going like i'm telling you this is the hot buy and like you know like man i've been in I, like i'm like how long have you been into bitcoin he's like oh, i got i was in the investments and stuff and i've been in it since like you know january 2017 I'm like, don't fucking talk to me, man. Like, you really don't get it. Like, I've heard this hundreds of times. Yeah, thousands. And coins have done. And I'm what like, yeah. Done, He's like, yeah. I'm but go, then they'll we're disappear. Go, we're going. So the, the truth is, nobody can really know. Mm -mm. No one can ever really know what the price of it's going to be because yeah. the market dictates that. Yeah, unless you have like you know whales that are just like gonna push it, pump it. Because there's to the extent of market psychology, it's still people have mm -hmm. the are the power of a certain altcoin going up because mm -hmm. it's dependent on who's going to buy into it and of course that's there's whales and whatnot that's why i tell people it's like you know i don't really trade much anymore or do that i mean i'll do like one or two big trades like once a month or something just like between bitcoin and something else or something like that but like the main the main like indicator i look at is trade value is like how many people are buying like how many people are buying and selling like how what's how much movement is going on because mm -hmm. if there isn't much movement which it hasn't been lately one, it only takes like one dude to sell like 2000 bitcoin and then it's just going to start sliding down mm -hmm. and then that's like that's like the main indicator i look at is like how much activity is going on so like that's what's telling me that i think we're going it's the price is going to stay pretty low for you know, yeah, I, for I the was, medium to short term. I was looking the at the rest of this year, maybe. I was looking at the charts, and I'm like noticing, like, if you go back to like 2000, like you know, 12 or 13 or whatever, and you and you, and you see those little blips, right, mm -hmm. where it went from like 100 to 1000 or whatever, but it, but it went down, and then it was in a bear market it was for like, like flat line for like all four, the way four for, for like four years. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm looking at at this blip of 20,000. What if that $20,000 is just a blip too and we're in the bear market for the next 3 4 years? Mm -hmm. Like I'm prepared for that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people aren't. They're looking for like, oh, I want to put my money in. Everybody here. wants quick huddle money. for 6 months, huddle for 3 6 months and then I'll cash out 10x returns, you know? So how, how, what do you guys think is like what's most effective? Like just playing the long game or just trying to pick your winners and you know, um, this, sell the pumps and buy the dips like. I, I don't buy too many because right at the time of this recording there's like 1600 coins out there yeah i i i hodl like maybe just play the five or game. six of them i guess i play the long game yeah 100 percent, bro if, if I, I bought a coin that was a uh, uh, uh 11 cents yeah that was deep brain chain and then it dipped down to eight cents and i bought some more yeah and then it dipped down to four cents bought some more D dipped down to three and I load it up because I, I know because the thing is like people people would see that and go like oh that's stupid like that's that's a bad investment right there like, no because I look at where I see it going in the next couple in the next right. maybe 15 years like that could be something that's in the next 15 years you know what I mean yeah um, and a lot of people don't have I mean, psychology for that I, I hate how everybody has to say something about certain things and investments and whatnot but all, all I gotta say if you purchase a car straight up that's a terrible investment. It's probably one of the worst investments you can do in life. To depreciating because asset. Right, right when your car goes off that lot, it depreciates mm -hmm. so fucking much. Doesn't it lose like now, 70%? Yeah, housing, housing, all that, whatnot. Yeah, it's kind of a good investment. But Property. you also have to understand that things could happen and it's still you're not going to see the increase you get in specific investments like bitcoin how much money is property going to be worth when we're all living in virtual reality and we're not we're living on digital video games i mean that's a that's the thing well you know there's there's the idea that there's always going to be a market for like the physical world people are going to always want to have their senses stimulated yeah I, I think it's crazy how you can see like these video games or not, not video games but there's these these blockchain protocols who are already looking to like dominate like the virtual virtual land mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know like they're like okay we're a we're a, what's what's one of them um 
There was one. It was called the. Uh, there was a I held for a while actually. It was called Voxels, mm. and uh, it was a yeah. It was like the uh, a currency that people used in VR worlds. Yeah. To just like you buy, can use it to buy land. You can buy like outfits and stuff, and, just, and you like, can only buy a certain amount of it because that land on that earth was limited. Right? Which is like what? How different is that <laughs> than buying like you know? W- when, I remember when I, like, you know, I haven't had Xbox for a while, but you could buy, like, points to buy, like, games and stuff. Yeah. You could buy, like, just coins, and you, you use dollars to buy other coins, and you use those coins to buy, you know, games, stuff for your avatar, whatever. Yeah. Like, how is that any different than a virtual currency? Yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not, really. It's not at all. It's crazy. So like, and then they're gonna be like, "What is that? What is that backed by? What is it backed by?" Well, it's backed by the fact they that people will just play put the money game. in it. Yeah. yeah, people play the game. You know, what's like? That's that's what it is. But that's what anything is. That's what the dollar bill came from. It's what the people valued it as. Damn. If you don't value something, it can be nothing. I don't value that fucking water bottle. But if I want to value that fucking water bottle as a million dollar thing, and everybody agrees with me, that's just gonna be. A million dollars. I, I think water. value is com- is completely. <laughs> water is super valuable. Value Sorry. is completely perceptive, man. Like like look at like a look at like a Sony video camera lens, right? Mm-hmm. If it's a thousand dollars, but like someone's trying to get rid of it, they'll see the they'll say, oh I'll sell it for you yeah. know five hundred. Yeah. Does that yeah. mean that all of them all over the world are going to be worth that much? Let's look at like part of my old job, my old company. I used to work at Caesars, mm. and they had a uh, they had revalued all of their fixed assets it was part of their bankruptcy mm-hmm. and they like the building <laughs> the the land that they were sitting on it was like they owned 70 acres in the middle of las vegas strip what you know it's like that's like the land that las vegas like caesar's palace it's on it's like the middle of the strip and we, i was in meetings and stuff and they were like just like what is this valued how do we value them like, we paid you know over a billion for this over all these years it was like well compared to this land over here about crossing the wind and all that it's like it's freaking difficult to value shit you know Mm -hmm. it's really hard so that's why it's like it's that's why i think that you know like bitcoin or anything that's like freely traded like the it is what it is like you know it's really the most willing someone's willing to buy for it or the least someone's Mm -hmm. willing to sell for it yep that 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 tripped me out when i first heard it i'm like wait so it doesn't have a value like the dollar isn't a dollar wait what how do you yeah what is this satoshi like you could sell something for i have a dream bro that like in the next couple like years like uh you know a cup of coffee would be like three satoshis you know what i mean like that'd be crazy yeah i mean i don't think that that's i don't i don't i don't think we that's like, I mean, people. You tell that to people like a couple of years ago, they're like, "No way." Bro, yeah. I, I, I just see it more and more. I'm telling you, the gas station right here, the yeah. U.S. gas, it takes Bitcoin. It has a Bitcoin ATM in it. Wow. No way. And, and it's the ghetto one. It's the ghettoest gas station. It says, "Oh, we, <laughs> you can tell, you can tell management and is it, woke." <laughs> and it was, yeah, it was some dude, and it's like, you know, his his like, you know, his, son or his a son's like, nephew, dad, get him in, dad. I got just the thing to make this place dope. <laughs> just plug Build it, in. it and they will come. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, it's like it's it's trendy now, which is like kind of weird. Like the but fact I think that anything's going to be like that and it's what when something's new it's just going to be like, oh, this is a new hip, like kind of like veganism, you know what I mean? Like yeah, I mean, it's but the thing is like with all these like trendy like things, it's like there's going to be pe- enough people that get into it that are like all right, I think I get it. And a lot of people are just going to be like, oh, that's, that's, that's interesting. And just like move on and just, you know, trade, you know, Amazon mm-hmm. stock and stuff, which is fine. But it's like <laughs> the people that actually will get it will, you know, they're going to be people like us that are just like pioneers. We're, of we're just, we're just going well, to, we're just going to buy it and, you know, we'll explain it to you. But if you don't want to get it, then, you know, figure it yeah. out on your own. Yeah, I don't think people will, will start getting onto it until like CNN starts talking but about it. It's even like stocks. Like not everybody's into stocks. Yeah, that's true. And, and, and that's mainstream. Game. And that's exactly. I'll, yeah. yeah. I'll say this: like the first like mainstream thing, and it wasn't. It's not even mainstream. The first like time I saw Bitcoin like talked about by like a news reporter, it was I used to watch this show on RT. Um, mm. It's like the, the little green logo. Yeah, it's like the Russian CNN. Yeah, 
<laughs> it's uh, <laughs> but the thing is they had this dude called max kaiser i don't know if you've heard of him he's like pretty big in the crypto space nowadays but he had a show on there and he would talk about like just like financial news and just talk about how like the financial industry is just fucked he just talked about like i guess he used to be a comedian so he makes it like super funny like it's just like the guy is like just hilarious yeah like he makes it super funny and he talks about how just like you know the stock market is rigged you know jp morgan's manipulating the markets all that shit like it was just like super you know interesting and alternative but i was still like interested in like the business financial side of it he was like the first dude i saw like on tv like talking about bitcoin in like 2013 mm. and when he, did bitcoin start my bad was 2009. When was 2009? Yeah. 2009. Okay. I was like, I, you could, I think you could mine it in 2008, but really it was not very possible. It was like, yeah, no, I know a dude that mined in 09. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. If you mine, you know what's crazy is if you mined in 09, you could mine like like 20 bitcoins an hour, like some <laughs> yeah. some crazy Damn. number. Like that. That's crazy. But now you have to have like an entire. But they were network. like fractions of pennies then. Yeah, you know? yeah, twenty Bitcoin would have been so like, like you. You were like fifty cents, maybe. You're wasting your time. Yeah, because there was so many people. Like I read like stories on Reddit. They were like, "Oh yeah, I made like two hundred, and you know, it went up to a dollar, and I sold." You know, I was like, "Oh, I made two hundred Well, that's the thing, man. If you're sitting at two thousand nine, let's say you heard about this Bitcoin, but you don't, you don't have the mentality that people have now. Yeah. I mean, imagine Bitcoin hits hits uh, hits a million dollars in in three years, right? People who sold at twenty thousand were pretty silly, right? Like yeah. You you hit twenty thousand because it went from one thousand to twenty thousand. Like you're ridiculous and insane. So the mindset back then was completely different. Like if you if you could hit a dollar, yeah, and you sold each one of those, like that was money you didn't have before. Yeah. You know, you it was pure you, you, you you didn't think of a thousand dollar. There's no way it's gonna hit a thousand dollars. Like you didn't yeah. think that big. You know. I'm sure some people did. I'm sure some people were. I, I like to meet up. It's like Gary V. Like he knew every single social media platform, and even like the Amazon. Yeah. That, you Some know? things you just Jeff like, Bezos. you just gotta, you, you just know it's like it has the formula. Like, like it's gonna be the next thing. Like it just yeah. needs, it just needs like to gain momentum. It has to get trendy. It has yeah. to get, you know, it has to have like a big salesman, like some some advocate, some like. You but know. how did Bitcoin get so big? How did it really? So it, I mean. Silk Road, no. Silk Road did definitely had a huge part of it because yeah. that was like one of the big things that every it was on the news for. What's what is, what is Silk Road for people who don't know? Silk Road was a website on the deep web yeah. that you could buy illegal substances with Bitcoin on, and it was Ooh. entirely encrypted. And it was, um, you know, like we said, it was Bitcoin is like basically anonymous private transactions so that's why they wanted to and only accept bitcoin people who don't know what bitcoin. people who don't know what the deep web is is this, there's a lot of people who don't know what the deep web is yeah it's crazy so if if you look at like a like an iceberg right the iceberg that sank the titanic like there's like a little tip that floats above water and that's the that's the internet that we all know that's the internet that that's, that's the myspace facebook and you know twitter that's that's the internet Ooh. that you see the big old iceberg below it that's like 99% of it that's the deep web that's that's the part that all the way to the abyss all the yeah. way to the bottom yeah. that's the part that's not that's hidden to the public yeah you basically so yeah you have to log in with a special browser and it's 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 similar to where it's like it's 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 scrambling your ip is how i, how it, I it, yeah it's it, like it, constantly it really, saying you're in different areas of the world so nobody can track you it's got yeah, a really right. bad rap because of the things that were on there, man. Like I've, well, I I've mean, heard, I've assassin, never, I've never yeah. been on there, but there's like some scary stuff. So the whole man. story of like the Silk, the Silk Road specifically is, um, it's kind of a like a, it's it's, it's a pretty fucked story. Like, yeah. like uh, the the person that made the website supposedly just made. He was it. a young kid too. He was just a young kid, and I believe he was like in Canada, and he like he got prosecute life in jail like you know. he was known as the biggest drug drill drug, drug, drill? <laughs> so drug, drug dealer in history he was so, like yeah well the thing is he, he claimed <laughs> he claimed that he just had a website and you know you could just do whatever you want with it and it's like having uh, ebay it's yeah like you can't really control what people sell yeah you know, he just people made sold Clash of Clans accounts. Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans. <laughs> Fuck you. Wow. No, but like the thing is, like you can't physically sell it. 
So like, or you can't legally sell a Clash of Clans account. So they yeah. would, they would, they would, they would gift it to you if you could buy a paperclip from them. You know what I mean? Yeah. For like a penny or like a hundred dollars or however the free account deal. with a paperclip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there was like some shit where they like he was like they thought they framed him for like conspiracy to like put a hit on someone that there was like hitman on there that you could like pay for someone to get killed and stuff like that's what the the level of you but the know, deep web does or dark web does get to that point yeah you you can't i'm sure that yeah. exists but i but don't, I don't know if that, of, i don't yeah. i don't know if that had anything to do with the silk road i mean the the silk road was kind of just a thing that they could not you know the the government the fbi dea couldn't really prosecute I mean, they, him they, for they, anything they, they 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 could shut the site down but there's but like a mil- there's like a million other Silk Roads, like mm-hmm. the next day. Yeah, they were even there's saying like Silk they're Road like Silk two, three, four. They're like, oh, you even think Silk Roads like that was a baby one compared to some of the other shit you? But can the thing still is, find. it's like it's like, you know, that's that's what the one of the first like relatively like common things you could do with Bitcoin mm-hmm. in like you know 2012, 2013. Mm. So that's like one of the things that they. It, I don't know. It was like mentioned in movies and stuff about like just Bitcoin being like a, a secret currency. It, it, um, it, they, they use it to talk trash about Bitcoin because well, it's in, it's decentralized because there's no one controlling it. You know, it's like people people. It's like it's like trying to say like the like uh, the internet is is only for porn or whatever. You know, or you, you, yeah. if if you go on the internet, you must be a pervert because that's where their porn is, right? Yeah. The same thing is like 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 the so, like uh, Bitcoin. Oh, you only ra- rapists and and murderers and and drug dealers. What do you think dollar it? bills are used for? Yeah, that? exactly. True. They're exactly. used for the same thing for buying. But guns, it makes a better story and... when you talk about the dark yeah, yeah, Silk sure. Road and this crypto. Isn't that where they bought? Drugs on You can't the- track it oh, So it's really? only drug dealers Yeah know? no it's It's I mean it's It's scary to most people It really is Cause it's How many How many murderers Use a, use like a kitchen knife You're we gonna You know Say gonna, kitchen yeah. knives Or I was reading Only used that by murderers I read that And I didn't know about this Until I read about it recently That um, When Mitt Romney Was running for president yeah. Against Obama In 2012 um, He had like Some blackmail uh, ransom for like a million dollars in Bitcoin against him, <laughs> and I don't know what really happened. Like they that. wanted a million in Bitcoin. Yeah, <laughs> for, for for who? Genius. For Mitt Romney, it was like against like why who's going? Like somebody him. put out a hit on him. Like well, like they were like we have some blackmail, and if you don't pay us off, we're gonna like release this. We're gonna release something bad about you or something. <laughs> they <laughs> wanted a thousand Bitcoin for it. A million dollars. In a million dollars worth of Bitcoin or a million? I think it was a million dollars worth of Bitcoin. Oh, wow! So that was when? How long ago? That was 2012, I think. Damn. And it was like just like some hackers, like they were genius. Hackers. If Who? they got it, and it's like you know they could send the Bitcoin and like they can move it and they could, they they might not, they could be gone wow. before they could. That's catch crazy. It. That's actually genius because I don't think you would be able to find it. Have you guys seen the movie? Um, it was on Netflix and it was like. It was super hot like a year ago. It was called. It's called Dope. I think I've I've seen it. I think I've seen it. You've seen it. Yeah. (laughs) You should watch it. I I kind of just want to spoil it right now, but (laughs) spoiler alert. Yeah. Like the whole the whole movie is like it's just about this like kid who just like, um, what really happens? He he gets like caught in some like huge like drug deal or something. It's like a comedy, like with like it's like some nerdy kid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen it. I've seen and it. He's yeah, like yeah. he gets like I've seen it. He goes like some party and like he wants to impress some girl. And yeah, like, yeah. He just like hangs out with some gangsters and he's like something happens. <laughs> but at, in the end, like he's like, man, we need to come up with like we need to come up with like a hundred thousand dollars or something. Yeah. He's like, all right, we're gonna start selling ecstasy on the deep web. <laughs> <laughs> like, or off, we're gonna we're just gonna, <laughs> he's it's like bitcoin save the day like randomly at the end it's like yeah. have you guys heard of the deep web it's like he starts talking about bitcoin in the beginning yeah. and it comes back at the end at the end it's like that's what ends up saving the day huh? it's like some some straight edge kid he's like i have to sell drugs on on the internet <laughs> to, to come up with the money to like keep me out of jail or something it's like it, it was it was like clever i thought like, for back then especially yeah i mean it, I mean that's like you said two years ago or 2014. Like like yeah, well, it was ago. a while ago. I th- I want to say it was like two three years ago. Oh okay. Yeah, but yeah. it was. I don't know, like something like that. It's like speaking of drugs, what is this popcorn T-shirt you got on you? Popcorn. What, what is popcorn? Popcorn. So this specific shirt 
is the exact shirt that not the same exact one, but the shirt that Dennis Rodman was wearing when he came to um, Singapore for the no co- joke for the Korea summer. That's the same shirt. Yes. So I saw that on Twitter, man. Yeah. I don't know if you want to <laughs> see it. Peace starts in Singapore. But wow. Yeah, it's like um, it's a. Uh, it's just like a crypt. It's like a pot cryptocurrency for yeah. weed. Yeah, it's just like, so. Yeah, there's actually like a few different kind of coins that are just for like the weed industry, hemp because, coin and whatnot. Yeah, because a lot of them can't have bank accounts. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it, it is kind of smart. Yeah, kind of so, genius. So they sponsored Dennis Rodman Going to, out. to go and you know chill with Trump and Kim Jong Un, and uh, <laughs> he was on CNN with this shirt on. Yeah, that shit and was I'm hilarious. I've seen that. I've seen that. They sponsored him going down there, and it's like. Um, I went on eBay like instantly. <laughs> like I gotta find that. <laughs> so, so I came in like real, like earlier this week. That's dope. That's tight, man. I gotta get me some crypto shirts, man. Like I feel like it's time for me to start rapping. Yeah, dude. A uh, friend of mine in Milwaukee like started a like a online store. Drop oh, yeah? shipping. Yep. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll send, yeah, send me, send me a link. It. Yeah. Well. Uh, but yeah, man. There's a. It's like a dope crypto scene here in Vegas. Like, I think just because there's a lot of tech here, there's a lot of, it's kind of just a booming city just for like industry in general. Mm -hmm. Like there's a, it's a good like, you know, scene here for just like technology and, you know, just new, new ideas. Like It's funny because I heard Reno is actually going to be the next big hub for like uh, the tech industries because everybody's moving there from the Bay Area. Yeah, and everybody. The in general land. is is. I mean, it seems like Vegas is super hot right now. But I feel like, I don't know to what point there's just going to be like oversaturation of bodies here, because I mean, five ten years, I believe so. So when I moved here, um, like three years ago, I was doing research at the time that in, that it was the second fastest growing city population wise, mm-hmm. um, second to Austin, at the time. Austin was growing. They, I remember reading it was like 100 people a day mm-hmm. moving to Austin. And it got to the point where Austin just like plateaued for like a year or so. And then it just started decreasing again because they just, there was like no space. Like it's just everywhere is traffic. There's no, not enough houses there. I don't know if it's going to, if, if what point Vegas is just going to get like, like, all right. Well, like, I don't know, man. With the whole <laughs> the whole Raider, Raiders coming to Vegas, the Vegas Golden Knights creating like a whole new little hockey league out of here. Then, like, there's a lot of things that are happening here in Vegas. I, th- I think it's going to – people have been saying this for years, but I think it's, I really think it's going to be the next, like, L.A. I, it's got a lot of work to do because L.A. is huge. L.A. has been a work in, in progress for, like, 60 years. Yeah. Vegas but, is a super new city. Yeah. Super Everything new. is super new. Like, it was. it just tripped me out, like, first driving here. It's like mm-hmm. – yeah, everything's a strip mall. Like wait, so you when you first moved out here, that 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 was twenty fifteen. Uh yeah. So yeah, I just moved out there when I first met you because that was at the studio, right? Mhm. Yeah. Yeah, I started. That's when I that no that, that wasn't the first time I heard of Bitcoin because the first time I heard of Bitcoin was in two thousand thirteen. From Joe Rogan, right? Yeah, the Joe Rogan podcast with Andres Antonopoulos. Nope. I know it because I knew homies who bought drugs. But, but when you when you were talking about it, it was like like two hundred dollars a coin or something. Yeah, it was it was, it was, crazy. It was it was quiet for a little bit. That's like right where it, before it started going off another little jump mm-hmm. before like a sl- the next big wave at the end of last year. Mm-hmm. It's just cycles, man. Do you do you feel do you feel like like Bitcoin's gonna overtake uh, the dollar, or do you think it's gonna work alongside it? Like, what do you think? It could, but not in our lifetimes. Hmm. You don't think I, so? I really think the. Um, it, it, it could work side and side. I think uh, that there's always going to be a, there's always going to be a market of people that want physical exchange of paper. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that that's just going to slowly phase away, but it, it'll take a long time because uh, the dollar really, <clears throat> that would mean that all like banks would have to cease to exist, mm-hmm. which is basically they've infiltrated almost everywhere in the world. N- yeah. <clears throat> and it's true. And it's real that like they're going cashless, like, it's um, it's it's harder to like deposit large amounts of money in your bank. Think about you can't how many deposit people deposit to other people's accounts anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's they're going cashless, and the banks are really like everything is is they they control every aspect of you know what you do with your money. 
It's all adoption, man. It's all adoption, I feel, in my honest opinion. Because look how, mm-hmm. look when credit cards first came out. People were like, wait, 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 wait you're going to, wh- you, where's your cash? Like, you're going to mm-hmm. put it into this debit card? Like, wh- what is that? People were. So like, no, pe- you paid off later, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like, because the, the, the credit card took like 30 years to become mainstream. Yep. And then using your debit debit credit card to buy things online, like, you were crazy if you It did had that. to get easier and easier for It had people. to get easier and easier, and I don't think that like, Bitcoin is any of those things it's right now. It's just being known, basically. Not yet, but I'll say right now, it's, it's so much easier now. It's like, I, like. Right now, like realistically, a grandma could use Bitcoin. Oh, for sure, mm-hmm. Coinbase right and purchase some. Like in like when I first got into Bitcoin, it was you know it it could take hours to explain it to like a normal person off the street. Mm-hmm. We used to do like like street vendor things, and like it was you know we had a booth and just had Bitcoin, and people just talked to us about it. And you know, one out of ten people had even like con- heard of it. Mm-hmm at the time but then the next year it was like half of people mm-hmm. so it's like it just takes you know it has to be in the in the social like you know the the it has to be the social essence of life like just being talked about. it has to everybody. just be like a part of like normal conversation it has to just be like a, a household word you know, it has to be like you're talking about like Amazon a bank account it's like it has to be like you're talking about you know Wells Fargo it's like oh Bitcoin oh you know I, I give people I give so it has to be like that before it's e- ever gonna be you know side by side with the dollar. So we do freelance work like video and photo and all that stuff, and I always tell people that like like let's say my day rate is six hundred dollars to film something, I'll charge like one Ethereum. You know what I mean? So it's like essentially it will only cost them like four hundred dollars mm-hmm. to incentivize them to, to incentivize do. using it. So I feel like that's a, that's a smart idea. Hasn't happened yet. But I'm waiting. That's a smart idea. You you might meet one dude that's you know just like, yeah. I like that idea. So I th- I think I think deal. Bitcoin's got to. They should just pay you one ether and they could just rebuy the the Ty one ether. Used to pay, pay, yeah. pay me in uh, Bitcoin. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure I've <laughs> made money off of all that. Maybe. I don't know. I think I made like a few cents. Not now. But yeah, <laughs> when it was at ten thousand and twenty thousand, I definitely. That's made when it. I was like really generous about. Yeah, then he said, like, I'll just pay you back $2. I was like, oh. No. Well, the fees got too high at the at the time. Yeah, that shit was. <laughs> you were paying $60. Like when that. it got super high, the fees were, like, crazy. Really? Yeah, the, when it was, like. Didn't you get fucked by a fee? Or who was it? It was, like, it was, it was, it was a point where it was, like, $20. Yeah, yeah you, you're right. Because well, I was on GDAX, and I ended up selling, like, it was, like, almost... It's like a percentage of a Bitcoin, but it, I remember when I when I sold the Bitcoin and ended up with with a U.S. dollar fiat in my GDAX account, it was like thirty dollars less, and I was like, "What? Yeah, what happened?" So like, Dude, <laughs> but Bitcoin was also it? Bitcoin was also at like ten, twelve grand, I think it was. Yeah, I mean, by, yeah, it's still a low percent, but it's like unheard of from spending that much on Bitcoin on sending Bitcoin. It's yeah. not like that now. The network is like stabilized because it was just growing too fast yeah, at the time. It was crazy. Yeah. Bro. So they were like, you know. Yeah. Chill on the spending, guys. Yeah, I I think it's looking good for the next couple of years, though, man. And people just need to learn to chill. Like the, it's gonna go back down. Like, yeah. Prepare, prepare for it. You know what I mean? Like do your own mentally. research. Yeah. Do your own research. I mean, ask people about it. I mean, most people that are super big Bitcoin advocates, like myself, are, like yourself, are you know they're you know we we love talking about it. Like I yeah. really love. Like I could talk about this for hours. We could sit here for yeah. the rest like till tomorrow. Oh yeah. And it's like. You know, it's it's hard. So like, you know, have it's someone just, walk you through it. Yeah, it's just it's spreading knowledge, man. It's like t- me t- me telling you, like if I told you about deep brain, like I told you about deep brain chain, V chain, I told you about all these things. You're learning things that you didn't know, and now you're kind of like, oh, well, yeah. now I'm gonna go do my own research. I'm gonna go home and yeah, look it up. See if see if, it, if if it's really worth the hype, because you know, it's 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 just a uncharted territory where anybody can just kind of like, you know, get get on the ground floor on, on, on a lot of projects. Mm-hmm. It's pretty dope. Dope. Um, yeah. No, but 100. percent This is not financial advice. This is not financial <laughs> <Yeah>. advice. <laughs> Got to put a, a, cl- a disclaimer at the beginning of the video. <laughs> the, the whole intro. video, bro. Just like the, just the put bottom, it in rolling text. text yeah. at the bottom. You have to, man. I'm not a financial advisor. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Here. Yeah, e- even like, like I, me and Chuck shill each other all the time. Well, I, I mostly shill him. I, got, I told him about the brain chain, and I got him to get some, and I still like I 100 percent stand by it. 
I yeah. even I even did it to my, to, to my to my sister. Like my, my sister was interested in getting into crypto, and I told her about Deep Brain Chain, and I and, but she was a little nervous, and I told her, well, here's the thing. Just to get her started into it, I told her put in because she was she had, she had like some money she had saved up, but she wasn't gonna touch it for a while. It was her savings, it was like four hundred bucks. I was like, okay, put this into here. And at any point, if you want to cash out, I'll cash you out. And if and if the price went down, I'll I'll recover that for you. I'll give you you know just to get her started. So like right now, it's sitting at at fifty percent of what it was. So if she wanted to cash out, I got to come two hundred dollars out of pocket. Right. But it's to get her kind of like interested like, well, and kind you know, of yeah. It it you know just really try to understand what you're holding. Yeah. Like really understand the value. Believe in it. Yeah. yeah. Believe in what you sell and believe in what you buy. Yeah. And if you don't believe it, you know. Probably not, not for you. <laughs> yeah. That's life. It's Literally. Really, it's really life. And that's what I try to tell you. It's like, you got to really, you know, take the steps. It's not easy. Don't, but don't follow it's really rewarding goal. once you really, it's it's going to be a point where it just clicks. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a point. And, and, and it's still like, I feel like. People say like the, 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 the people who were on the ground floor was like 2009, 2010, 11, 12. Those were the early adopters. Like, no, that was that was like some people that were the early adopters. Well, actually, I don't even think the early adopters have gotten here yet. It's hard to say. I mean, I'd say, you know, most of the Bitcoin have been mined. I'd say we're, we're all early adopters. You think so? I think I think we are. Hmm. Because it really never mind then. I don't it makes know. Makes me feel happy. <laughs> I feel. I feel like we are. I mean, how early would be early? That's true. Yeah, you can never say there's really a point. Because there's always someone earlier. Mm-hmm. Late is when the last Bitcoin gets <laughs> mined. Like if you're so what like, was it 2040? The I last Bitcoin will be late. mined in like 2040 or 2141 or some shit. No, tw- was it? I think uh, it's 21. 20 or tw- I think it's 2140. I can't remember. I think yeah, you're it's right. super long. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's like past our time. Great, great, yeah. great, great. That's great another. Kids. That's another conversation for another podcast. But, uh, We're gonna have to have great. you back on here, man. Yeah, and not so, just about that. We also want to talk about because you DJ as well. I do tableism. Oh yeah, you Ooh, gotta it. check our boy out. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and post all your information in the description down below yeah, yeah. Nope. for the video, so everyone can check you out. Uh, check you out. Go ahead and give you that follow on Instagram. Check out your website and see what you're doing. So Dope. thank you, Tarek. Yeah. Thank you AKA guys for having T. me. T. Ferris, that was dope. Learned a lot. This was yeah. fun, dude. Thanks and, for uh, having me. All right, we'll see you guys on the next morning dinner. Bye, guys. Every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen, in the goddamn refrigerator. I sure am hungry.